Hello Angular enthusiasts. Today we will create a reusable input component using both template driven and reactive forms. Ready to level up your Angular skills? Let's go. Alright, this is my Angular project that is currently running in my browser and this is the VS code and this is the code for my basic project. So let's start from building a very basic inputs. So for that we add input type text placeholder okay let me add some styling so i will wrap it in a main container and let's add a style display flex justify content center align item center and let's wrap it in another div i will make a card of it All right, now let's quickly style the input as well. Okay, great. Now uh, I can copy paste it to have multiple such inputs. Let me add a gap between these inputs. All right, let's make some changes here. Email. Okay, so now let's create a separate component for these inputs. So I will name it. Actually, let me use the command. So ng generate component input press enter. This will generate an input component here in the app directory. And you can see that it has updated the app module. That's when it has declared the input component already. So that's good. Now uh, I am going to delete all of these inputs and we will move them in the separate component that we just created. So here for now, I will add that component input app dash input is the selector of that component and you can see input works text is coming from this component now i will paste my input there now the issue is that the style has gone uh, that we styled earlier so i am going to move that style from the app component dot css to input component dot scss that will fix the problem but still it is not taking the full space the reason is that if i show you in the inspect element this is the app input and this is the input okay this one is taking already the parent of this input is already taking 100 percent, but input is not taking that space so for that let me add width 
hundred percent. Okay, now we have another problem. It is overflowing like this. So the reason is that we have padding. So it is actually uh, taking the space uh, for hundred percent for the width plus twenty pixel for the horizontal padding. So to avoid that problem, we will use box sizing border box that will fix the problem okay now let's go back to the app component and now you can copy paste it multiple time like this to have multiple inputs but now we want to change the placeholders for that we have to define the inputs in the input component so for that type input and make sure to import them from the angular core and here give it a name like a placeholder you can give it a default value if you want to uh, okay are uh, you you don't want to give it default value then you can make it optional and now let's add the placeholder here so as now we want to use the javascript property here so in order to make that possible you have to wrap this placeholder in the square bracket so that you are able to use the javascript variables or properties of your component so here i will use the placeholder now and now look at that right now it is showing the undefined the reason is that we did not pass any placeholder now here i will pass my placeholder name and you can see that name has been added there so let's add few more inputs so like after placeholder we need the type as well so here instead of hard coding the type i will take the type from the input that we just received okay now Whenever you use this app dash input, you can pass the placeholder and type text. By the way, you can also specify the allowed type that you want to be able to pass. So right now when you type, it does not give you any suggestion. So if you open that where you have defined it, instead of just saying string, you can give it literal string values like, uh, like this text password email number okay so now let's try it here you can see now it is giving me suggestions that we can use email number password or text so i don't know why uh that so i think we should not do that okay right so now you can have multiple type of inputs you can see we have four types text password number and email okay so now i will copy paste this line multiple times like age and the type should be number this is city and type should be text this is also text and this is the email the type would be the email now if i show you in the inspect element you will see that that placeholder and the types have been applied correctly now i will use the reactive form in my component so for that i need to import the reactive forms module so after you have imported the reactive forms module and added in the imports array, you can start using it. So here I am going to create a form group here. So let me create a constructor first so that I could inject the form builder service from Angular. Okay. Now I will initialize this form with the form group, this.fb group and here i will give it some default values uh, default control so these are two controls but i am going to change it to match these one name hcd email okay okay now go to the app input and instead of receiving any value i will actually 
receive the control and we will give it a type form control let's give it default give it a default value form control so if nobody provides a form control from the parent then it will use its own form control now in the html i will actually use the form control is equal to uh, make sure to wrap it in square bracket control okay now in the html let's pass that control control and make sure to wrap it in square bracket so that we could use javascript in its value and now i will mention form dot get and now i will give it the name of the control that i want to get to fix this problem we need to uh, create a function to get the control okay now okay the issue is resolved now now it's time to print the data of this form you can see right now nothing is uh, in the value so if i make a change in the name but if i make change in any other nothing is being changed but name is being updated in real time because it has been bound with that input that is inside my input so now we can pass the control for other inputs as well like this in this case it is going to be age and this is going to be city and this will be email all of these inputs are properly binded with the proper form control in the form group that you can see that's it for our deep dive into angular's input components if this video enlightened your angular journey hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more angular wonders until next time happy coding